Hey everybody, wanted to show you something really quick that I experienced this weekend that I have not had happen before. I've had this happen before with the rig control error in WSJTX, but our club computer was set up this weekend for field day, interface to a radio, and we were getting this error. So let me show you what the error comes from. If I look here under serial port, it says USB, and there's no other choices here. And this is connected to my ICOM 7300. I have always found, at least under Windows 7 and under Windows 10, that I have not needed to load the ICOM USB drivers for the USB port for the radio because they use a common serial port, it's a UART to USB bridge controller chip, and those drivers have always existed in Windows as standard drivers. My computer recently updated itself to Windows 11, about a month ago, and I haven't really, frankly, had any issues with it, but I have not tried to connect it to my radio yet, and our club's computer appeared to have the same problem. So this should say COM, you know, three or four or five or some number here with the port for the radio connected up properly. So let's go take a look in Device Manager. Actually, let me close this all down. And we're going to bring up the Device Manager. And let me actually give you a little better view of that. And if I look here in the device manager, you'll see this USB to UART bridge controller has the little error triangle next to it. And if I, uh, if I click on properties, which is a little off the bottom of the screen for you, uh, the device not installed. And there's no compatible drivers for this device. So Windows, at least Windows 11, suddenly does not have a driver for this. This computer was connecting to my ICOM radios just fine before it updated to Windows 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and search for the ICOM drivers because I normally haven't had to do look for those. And if you do a Google search and you just type ICOM U7300 USB drivers. It takes you, the first, the first search result takes you to the correct place on the ICOM Japan website. So this is USB driver for a whole bunch of radios here, including the 7300. And this is a pretty old driver, but I believe it will work. So I'm going to skip past all this and I'm going to click the little... Okay, I've downloaded the driver. I've unzipped it into this folder. And I'm going to go into that folder. Then I'm going to go into the driver folder. And what I want is the installer for x64 because I'm running the x64 version of Windows here. So we're going to just double click and run that. This comes up as an unknown publisher, which I'm not sure why ICOM doesn't have it signed, but that I've seen before. I'm not too worried about it. I know I got them from the ICOM website. I'm going to accept their agreement, and I'm going to click Next, and it says the device is updated. So we're going to finish, and I'm going to close this, and I am going to unplug, I actually should have unplugged this before I installed those, but hopefully that didn't mess us up. So I'm going to plug my USB port back in. And this is actually a good sign because I heard two little didings, which means that it installed uh, or it connected an audio driver and hopefully a COM port driver. So first, let's just go back into Device Manager. And you notice we don't have any little yellow triangles anymore. And this little box is here now that says ports, com, and LPT. And it says 
Silicon Labs USB to UART bridge COM6. So that is a good sign. Now let us run WSJTX again and we will see what happens here. And rig control error, that's because we didn't have anything selected. So let's go in here. And now, see we have COM6 as a choice. So I'm going to click on COM6 and then we're going to go down here and we're going to say test cat. And you probably didn't hear that, but I just heard some clicks on my radio and this turned green which means it's controlling the rig and then I'm gonna do test push to talk and when I click push to talk the transmit on my radio comes on so now we are controlling the radio correctly and you're not gonna see anything on the waterfall because at the moment my radio is connected to a dummy load so there's literally no signals coming in but that solved the problem. So just a quick short tip here. If you have a computer that's recently upgraded to Windows 11 and all of a sudden your ICOM radios, and this may be going on with Kenwood and other radios, but uh, specifically your ICOM radios are suddenly not connecting properly to your digital mode software, you might have to download those ICOM drivers. Hope this helps.